Hello and welcome to our AutoCAD lesson. Our lesson is all about the AutoCAD graphical user interface. In this lesson, we're going to explore the AutoCAD working environment using interactive guided image. Application menu. This contains the tools for opening, saving, and printing your drawings. These options are similar to the file drop-down menu that has been deprecated since the ribbon was introduced in AutoCAD. Viewport menu or in canvas menu. This provides a convenient way of changing views, visual styles, and other settings. The start tab. The start tab is displayed by default at the startup, providing easy access to a variety of initial actions including access to drawing template files, recently opened drawings, and sheet sets, and online and learning options. Ribbon provides a compact palette of all the tools necessary to create or modify your drawing. The ribbon is composed of a series of tabs, which are organized into panels that contain many of the tools and controls available in toolbars. Quick Access Toolbar Quick Access Toolbar provides immediate access to some of the most frequently used commands to complete tasks such as creating, opening, saving, and plotting your drawings. The Quick Access Toolbar is a convenient way to open drawings, especially when you are not using the Sheet Set Manager. Drawing tab or File tab. A tab at the top of the drawing window that corresponds to an open drawing. Model Space or Drawing Area is a single three-dimensional volume where everything is drawn in actual size. Model Space is typically scaled down in viewports and displayed in paper space. Drawing title. This contains the information of the AutoCAD version and drawing title. Crosshairs. A type of cursor consisting of two lines that intersect that allows you to navigate the drawing area to precisely compose your designs. Navigation bar. Use to conveniently access several product specific navigation tools, which provides access to several universal and product specific navigation tools, such as the wheel, pan, and zoom. These tools are designed to mimic navigation features found in other Autodesk products such as Autodesk Ribbon. Info Center, containing the search, Autodesk 360, Autodesk Exchange app, and help buttons. It consists of a set of tools on the right side of the title bar that enable you to access many product-related information sources. View Cube. A user interface element found in the upper right corner of the drawing area that displays the current orientation of a model and allows you to interactively rotate the current view or restore a preset view. It is a navigation tool that is displayed when you are working in 2D model space and 3D visual style. It is a persistent, clickable, and draggable interface that you use to switch between standard and isometric views of your model is primarily used for navigating three-dimensional drawing. It provides access to 26 predefined view orientation in addition to the basic ability to pivot a drawing. When the cursor is positioned over the view cube tool, it becomes active. You can drag or click the view cube Switch to one of the available preset views, roll the current view, 
and or change the home view of the model. Drawing specific windows control minimizes, maximizes, and close specific AutoCAD drawing file. AutoCAD specific windows control minimizes, maximizes, and close AutoCAD application window. UCS icon, an icon that indicates the orientation of the UCS access. The UCS icon, an essential part of AutoCAD system, is found in the lower left corner of the drawing area and indicates the positive coordinates for the X, Y, and Z axis. Model tab. Model tab allows you to create the drawings in model space. Layout tabs or paper spaces represents the piece of paper used to document the design and where you can set up your plotting, printing preferences. Command window or command line. At the heart of the AutoCAD is the command line, which is normally tucked at the bottom of the application window. Effects area reserved for the keyboard input, prompts, and messages. AutoCAD is based on commands. If you know the name of the command, you can type it instead of finding it in the GUI. Status bar displays drawing statistics, drawing and construction aims and extents. It is where you can customize status toggles, switch workspaces, set annotation scale, and clear screen. 